Meet Lita Lewis, fitness instructor and Body Blast Boot Camp creator. Raised in Sydney, Australia, Lita worked tirelessly to transform and break traditional molds of the Americanized fitness image by creating the You Fit Pledge. Hosting Body Blast Boot Camps all over the U.S. and creating the mantra, Thick Thighs Save Lives. With super intense training programs and more than half a million followers on social media, find out why she's the boss. When I moved to the United States, I moved to Brooklyn, New York, and I lived in Bed-Stuy. I was always looked at with funny eyes, I suppose, when I would run the streets during the summertime. And I realized exercise was something that people just weren't, well, were kind of foreign to. It was not only a cultural shock for me, but one that opened my eyes to a lot of things. My Body Blast Boot Camp is something that I run every spring, summer. It allows me to get in front of those that, you know, are following my movement. You know, camp is run by myself, so I really just show up with my little boom box and some cones and, you know, mark out my little territory. I noticed that just even a few years ago when I first started out, women would tell me, girl, I'm just trying to tone up, but I really want to lean out and be skinny. I don't want to look like a man. This time around, women are like, no, how do I gain muscle? How do I get that line in my leg? How do I round out? It, it, to me, it's crazy because it's almost like a 180. And now this idea of wanting to look like a superhero or superwoman is something that's very common. I discovered my passion for fitness four years ago. I basically had my heart broken by an ex-boyfriend and I spiraled down into a really bad place. So I turned to the gym as a way to make myself feel better and became really quickly addicted to that feeling of training and then sort of eating right and fueling my body. I started sharing my personal journey and my inbox at the time was full of young women especially saying, because of you, I was able to self-help themselves out of certain hardships that they were going through and things they were able to accomplish. And that became very real really quickly. Somebody once asked me, what does thick thighs save lives mean? Like, do they really save lives? Many years ago, I hated my legs. I hated my thighs. I hated that they were so big. I hated that they were so muscular. And yet, I was always proud to be athletic. I was always proud to be the fastest girl on the track. I was always proud that I could deadlift and squat more than anybody in the room. So for me, in using the hashtag and really owning that message, I've learned to love my physical self and then really owning that. In learning to love them, I found that others became to love them too. So it became part of my brand every time I used it. When it comes to the waist trainers, literally squeezing your midsection to fit. If you're a mother and your daughters see you hate yourself daily, One hour. It is not forever. whether or not it's strapping yourself in a waist trainer or looking yourself in the mirror, and it does so much psychological damage to these young women. Everything starts with self-love. You can't be a successful human being without loving yourself first. It's really important for me to find some type of peace. So in order to create balance in my life, I like to paint. I really just start by painting anything that's based on my mood at the time. Sometimes I get inspired by what I see in magazines, TV, or art books. It took a lot to find the will and the strength to really leave everything I knew to be happy and successful. In order to pursue my Push own out. personal greatness. 30 seconds. Push out. I'm a boss because I recognize that and I was willing to pursue that wholeheartedly. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to log on to MadamNora.com for more She's the Boss. To watch season one, click here. To watch season two, click here. And to watch season three, click there.